Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. As you see, <coughs> it's now initializing stuff. I'm not sure if anything works right now, but I just installed a mod for the past, mm, let's say, five and a half hours. And the last two hours were ju just a little bit of troubleshooting because I had screen tearing. Not sure if the screen tearing is fixed now, but we're gonna see that in a second because now the MCM menu stuff comes. Um, also typing right now in Discord, so if you're watching, thanks to Jackalope and Kiwi and all the other people that helped me a little bit. Well, not a little bit, a lot, actually. So, now... I should be able to do mod configuration stuff. Um, best of luck, they say. <laughs> uh, just waiting. Somebody is typing, you know, just in case I wait for a second. Could be important. But I, I don't see any loading stuff anymore, so... I think it's fine. So this is basically um, warning. I say basically a lot. Um, this is basically oh my god again um, the what do you call it ultimate Skyrim thing with like hundreds of mods and I basically again use the mod organizer and the um, automaton mod, the new one that came out. The basically. Oh my I can't stop, sorry, um, installs everything, I followed like a long tutorial, blah blah, it, even like following the, the tutorial took me less time than actually downloading everything manually because basically, oh, shit, um, <laughs> does all the settings for you, you know, so everything should be fine. Yeah, somebody said be sure to make that safe before hitting begin my adventure, especially since you're not sure if it if it if it'll crash or not. Just typing. Okay, and now we go to the tutorial. Of course, the file is not open anymore. But somebody just sent it in Discord, so I can g open the g uh, document from there. Okay, let's start. Nope, not Google. Nope, but opened Google. Um, and it's be done. Choosing start. New blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's start with a matter of time. Man, I didn't play Requiem f since 2017. I'm so excited, but also scared. General. Symbol 1. Symbol theme bar. Thin. Bar thin. Yes. In-game date format. Uh, Tamriel Down DD Month Tamriel D O W Tamriel This one Okay now to display uh, Symbol one Scale 65%. Sorry, this is boring, but I guess better to see it here live than doing it yourself. Just so you know what you're letting yourself getting into. Huh? Uh, horizontal anchor center. Horizontal offset zero. I always hated the stuff with the sliders, so I love it that there's a tutorial. Vertical offset sixty-five. 
I'm hungry actually. Uh, yes. <clears throat> In game clock. Horizontal ankle. Center. Horizontal offset. Minus 55. Vertical offset 85. Vertical offset. Wait, 80, 85? 84. Vertical offset 84. Yes, okay. Control. Oh. Load preset all toggled. What? Oops. All toggled. Symbol one. In game clock and in game date. Wait, what? Control. I'm in control. Load preset all toggled. Oh. Symbol one in game clock and in game date wants me hotkey X, I guess. I mean, that's what it says symbol one in game clock, in game date. I guess that's that. The next one is... Oh my god. Bathing in Skyrim. <laughs> Why is there bath... Oh my god. Don't tell me you can get dirty in Requiem and stuff. Oh boy. Uh, general. General. Settings? General. Um, untick at dialogue to NPCs. Okay. Hotkeys. The sound is gone in game, but I think that is my I thought that's my sacrifice. Must be the line for the song is probably ending. Um check status. Check status. Is it this button? No. This button. I mean, it, it must be that button because it's probably another layout. Bath and shower is left and right bracket, so it's eight and nine. Eight. Nine? That's weird. <sighs> uh, save. Settings. That's okay. Campfire. Gameplay, camping, antique camping, illegal in settled areas. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in my into my powers uh, sec section. Uh, there was something on instincts uh, detection. Antique here creature movement. Here, creature movement. Wow, you can smell that. Jeez. Antic visual distortion effect. Yeah, I think that Requiem does that. Cop positioner. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's another mod. What the fuck is cop positioner? Welcome to pick a page and get started. Oh boy. By the way, I don't know all the mods that are in this setup for Requiem, so I think it's very fun and interesting because I don't know everything, right? So that's gonna be interesting. Cop positioner, note, check the controls tab. 
of the MCM for hotkey corners of cop position now in an edit mode. What the hell is cop position now? Um, use a hotkey to start editing key without spell is sign. Use a hotkey to start editing. Stop editing. Start editing. Where is start editing? That's that's uh, control, I think. What? General... Wait, general settings? Oh. Um... Ah, here. And then assigned hotkey DEL. I think DEL is delete. Um... But this one? Map to what? D E L. What the fuck? D. I mean, it it must be that. It's not backspace. I mean, then just swap them. I know that's and. Is it that? No, that's back. Is it this? Wait a second. Let me Google that real quick. D E L Q Oh, it's that one. It's that one. Ah, the more you know. Okay. Now it's complete crafting. The bandolier settings can be a little finicky. They only get applied once you actually enter their slider to tweak them. So be sure to open each one slider and move it around a little before returning to the suggested value. Okay, I can try. Crafting options, untick. Inventory con conditions on crafting recipes. Uh, crafting options. Untick inventory conditions on crafting recipes. Yes. Learning and EXP. Tick. Okay. Silver weapon. Bonus 50%. Enable mods. Tick bandolier bags and pouches. Tick cloaks of Skyrim. And tick winter is coming. Mod options. Bandolier bags and pouches, small enchantment value 5, medium enchantment value 10, that's already there, large enchantment value 15, EXP large enchantment 20, features 
features. Tick adaptive sneaking. What? Where? Oh. That was camera. Um XP large enchantment distribution change change chance five percent. Did it change? Okay, so well. Customizable camera. Oh boy. Essentials. No. Wait. Miscellaneous, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. No, that's essentials. I think this is miscellaneous, it's just... I guess? Essentials? Miscellaneous? Uh, I guess it's that? Uh, zoom speed 20? Zoom increment 6? Camera changing speed 20. Oh boy. Um, features. Now it's features. Is that safe? Uh, okay. Adaptive. Tick adaptive sneaking. I uh, Adaptive sneaking height 15. Uh, so is that because of the FOV I guess? Swap side key insert. <coughs> I think insert. Haha! -ha. It's not that I can remember this stuff, but dual wheel pairing. Oh shit! They have dual wheel pairing. That's cool. Oh man, that's a mod. Dual wheel pairing. Block key mouse button three. Oh, I like that. Cool. Dual whip pairing. Never used that. Um, da, 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 da. dungeon darkness. Dungeon darkness. Basic config. Uh, debug utility. Um, notification level none. Oh, okay. What the fuck is DVA? Dynamic ca vampire. Oh god. Okay. Oh wait, I have to go in there anyway. DVA general enabled. Untake combat eyes. Okay. That's it. Dynamic things. Containers activators. Other dynamic things. Untick training dummies archery targets. Because I think another mod does that. Landscape overhaul. Oh boy. Trees, bushes, bushes without collusion. Untick harvest trees, bushes without collusion. Untick. Untick, untick. Harvest trees. Okay. Trees, bushes with collusion. Collusion, collision. Untick play cutscene sounds when felling a tree. Untick play cutscene. Untick play cutscene sound. Okay. Oh boy, don't tell me you can fucking like actually fell a tree and it actually gets cut. 
Although Skyrim really has way more mods than Special Edition. Felling tree elapses zero. Tree protected chance zero. Rocks and something. Max hits to destroy rocks. Oh god, I can destroy rocks? What the hell? I get the feeling that I will die a shit ton to probably exhaustion and like hunger and stuff with all this immersive stuff. Oh jeez. Um, advanced options. Untick new version for ownership. Tick containers are destructible. Oh, I like that. Containers are destructible. Antic play cutscene mammoth something. Tick no food containers. If it's if set to true, all barrels, crates, added by dynamic things which no longer contain food are empty. No extra food. Oh boy. Available stuff in EEC upgrades 3%. Oh, wow, this gets hard. <laughs> 3%. Okay, ESF companions. Joining? Known criminals. Tick can overcome with speech thief guild members thief guild members can join dark brotherhood members speech skill needed 70 quest weeks quest weeks radiant quest settings Untick quest giver waits inside Javaska. Untick. Okay. Radiant quest reward gold. Untick use default. Untick. Gold per quest difficulty level 100. Okay. Miscellaneous. Sperry. Magic allowed in sparring. Sparring. Magic allowed in sparring. Beast blood. Beast skill required 50. Expanded towns and cities. Ooh. Never played with that either. My voice is failing me. <laughs> it's a dream something. Um, patches. Static mesh improvement mod. Static mesh. Tick use 3D chain mesh. Okay, okay. That's it. What is EFF? I don't have EFF. Enhanced follower framework. Oh, it's that. No, you will either have IFT or EFF, not both. Do I have immersive amazing follower tweaks? Let me see. I have. Space, can I do that here? Space between followers and stuff? No. So I think yeah, it's somewhere else. OK. 
Okay, I'm not gonna do anything here. It's probably for later, I guess. Oh god, post start. No, for some reason, that's possible at this point. For some reason, configuring PC EA2 sometimes causes the player character to spawn in the opening scene. I recommend saving its config for after choosing a start and character. Doing it not now, I guess. Okay. Frostfall is also Potions is a complete different mod. Okay, I was thinking. Belongs to somewhere else. Uh, default settings. Uh, select action. Enable all. Uh, okay. Notifications. No restore potions. One every 300 seconds. Oh god, do I have to get healing potions for my companions? One every 300 seconds. Untick no fortify resist potion. Untick no poisons. And untick no poisons poisons at all. Frostfall post start configuration. Sure. Now it's honed metal. Oh, isn't that the mod? Oh yeah, I like that. Oh god, at least it's here. I use that mod in special edition, you know, like to basically do the stuff I'm not skilled in. So that's quite good. General. Um, the antique NPCs have materials. Tempering cost. Temp. Wait, where is temp? Tempering cost. Point zero thirty. Enchanting cost. Point zero thirty. I don't like the with the cost. Like I think it's weird that I can't use the materials the NPC has. But if I have to bring it. Hmm, I mean I can mine the stuff, I mean that sure is probably no problem, but uh, I have to see tempering and enchanting is zero three okay recharge cost is zero ten mm -hmm. crafting time Zero two five and enchanting time zero two five. Mm -hmm. Oh god, this mod has hunter born. Okay. Features start hunter born after starting exit the menu. Start hunter born. Is it like activated? Activate? Okay. Uh, features? Tweaks? Presets? Meat yield custom? Uh, 
custom meat yield is 5%. Wow, what? Okay. Nice at merchants common. After selecting this, exit the menu to let Hunter and stock with merchants with knives. Knives at merchants. What did it say? Common. Finished restocking merchants with hunting knives. Oh my god, I need hunting knives! This is gonna be so immersive. I'm gonna fuck it up, I know it. I'm gonna fuck it up. Because I'm so used to like not playing like super immersive. Um Hunter Born. Realism, realism. Is there something? Okay. Tick remove manual loot option. Remove manual loot option. Tick require hunting knife. Tick require hunting knife. Tick claws work as hunting knife. Okay. Hot keys. Can be if desired, if not said, they appear as powers. Um, I mean, that's cool and stuff. But I guess I use them as powers. I'm not good at remembering hotkeys. Monster Hunter. What the hell is Monster Hunter? Enable Monster Hunter. Um, what does that mean? Monster Hunter adds options to take skins, materials and meat as well as venom, blood and treasure from the monsters selected below. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Compability. Options. Use custom textures. Yes. I use the automatic variants okay are uh, now ICO something what is this immersive college of winterhold huh? two tour two uh, two tour oh XP per spell 100 active act Activatable XP zero. What? Ac XP spell spells one hundred. Oh, this is this. Like zero. Okay. Ah, now immersive AFT comes. You will either have yeah core settings. I'm in that standard options. I'm in that death chance zero percent. Well, carry weight one fifty. Oops. Tick fearless followers. Immersion tick command spell. Immersion tick command spell. Okay. Immersive horses. Wait, that's almost. Horses, antique stolen horses are unclaimable. Options, options, options. Stolen horses cannot be claimed by the player while this option is enabled. Oh, I can see horses now, I guess. Hotkeys. Not bound. Uh, uh, no, I don't need this. Now comes immersive hut. Immersive hut. Activation. Compass activation. 
Yeah, it's X, tick, keep, press toggles. Um, sky UI active effects. Untick active effects on combat. Crosshair activation. Untick when looking at active available. Untick. I mean, I like my crosshair. So, why should I deactivate it? Crosshair is always on. I mean, it's nice and stuff, but I really need my hot my my crosshair so I can see stuff. It's very important for me. Options, there's options. Tick of foresight crosshair. No, I need it. I need it. Sorry, always need my crosshair. Imperial mail. What is that? They have a mail system? Oh boy. Immersion settings. Tick a gift gold weight. Oh boy. Uh, set gold weight z 0.01. Service signs. Untick every option in this menu. Are you serious? Untick service signs? Okay. Not sure what the mod does, but okay. Okay, now it's I need. Okay. Automation. Eat hotkey. Sit hotkey. Wait, what? Sit hotkey is dash? Isn't that dash? No, not in America. Uh. It's left from eat. That one, I guess. So they are all three together. Hmm. Untick harmful raw fruit under advance. Untick. Cannibalism. Uh, food drink. Food and drink. No salt requirement. Difficulty. World. Tick valued harvests. Food removal. Both. Food spoilage. Worlds. Words? Words. Uh, gameplay. Combat increases needs three. Gameplay. Gameplay. Food drink. Increase food weight value disabled.
Alcohol dehydrates. Drinking alcohol will decrease the cells temporarily, but will also cause the cells to rise faster over the next two hours. Oh, okay. Notifications. Text. Perspective. First person. Current needs consumption. Check status hotkey home. Home. Home, home, home. Good. What is the home button again? Um, let me ask one. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Why does it not want now? It doesn't want to work. Okay, Google. Bei YouTube das hier gefunden. <laughs> What the fuck? It didn't want to open it. Jesus Christ, that surprised me. Home. Home button. Keyboard. Sorry, it's on German. It's probably something else. Okay, so the home button apparently on my keyboard is Pause one. It's called basically position one and it's right beside insert. So it's this one. Wait. Okay. Jesus man, that surprised me. That was so loud. Holy shit. Um Widget style, alpha based. Tick track disease. What does that mean? Adds a widget that will represent your diseased state regardless of the widget. Will not appear unless you are diseased, but will follow the selected progression system. E color based, white, red, disease versions. Oh, cool, okay. Exit out of the menu for a few seconds once the configuration is complete. I need doesn't play nice with other MCMs. Yeah. Massive Amos configuration has finished. And I think I need just was finished as well. I, I, I think. Hints and taverns configuration options tick enhanced mode and follower bed ownership. This default mode works exactly as same as vanilla game. Bed only one day stay will configure local and cost. The enhanced mode adds extended stay options, save containers, pay for followers, etc. Cool. If enabled, extra follower bets will be owned by current follower faction after you pay that tab. If not, bets ownership will be set to none, so everyone can use them. This is useful for some unique followers who can't use bets. Owned by standard follower factions. Ooh. Okay. Then we go to less intrusive heart. Uh, heart visibility. Tick show alternate crosshair. Tick alternate compass slim. Untick show activate button. Compass markers, compass markers. Note that these settings do not take effect if you have immersive compass installed. It comes, it comes installed by default in the full installation. It comes installed by default in full installation. Okay, so I just keep them on. I mean, if they are not active anyway, I guess it's okay. Hub position. 
Inspect the hotkeys and customize HUD to your liking once start a character creation is chosen. You can save your preset in general setting. Once start and character creation is chosen. I mean, edit hub mode is NP, enter, left, right, up, down. I mean, probably is fine. Applying settings. Restoring default hub position. Okay. Loot and degradation. Loot and degradation. Oh god. Enchanted equipment chance one. Set a relative chance that a piece of armor or weapon on NPC will be enchanted. Keep in mind that the chance that an item appears enchanted and the quality of the enchantment will decrease with NPC level. Oh boy. Stuff can break? Oh shit. Degradation. Tick less level loot. What does that mean? By default, NPC can lose the temperature. Untick NPC's loot. Oh, thank you very much. Services. Untick tempering service. Yeah, because we have a different mod for that. Tick equipment repair kits. An equipment repair kit is a portable item that will allow you to temper or de <coughs> to temper or degrade weapons and armor anywhere. Degra Why would you want to degrade? Items improved using this kit will degrade faster than items improved by at a grindstone, workbench or NPC. Okay. Degradation. Set the relative degradation rate of tempered items on the player from least durable to both most durable cloth, wood, fur, leather, iron, steel, elven, bone mold, fauna, dwarven, glass, chitin, orcish, dragon, ebony, stalrim, daedric. You will need to save and then restart Skyrim if you change this setting. Oh, we just did that. But apparently we don't need to do that because the tutorial doesn't say we need to. <laughs> Uh, text notifications all. Extra hotkeys. Toggle widgets. Okay, now it's called missives. What the hell is missives? Bounty quests, bounty quests. Um, animal bounty reward. 200. Bandy, bandit, bandy. Bandit bounty reward 500. Okay. Giant bounty is 1800. Okay. Dragon is 4k. Uh, hideout retrieval reward 750. This is considered a hard quest. Very hard. Normal? Hard? Very hard. Hmm. Now it's Moonlight Tales. Ability Howl at the Moon. Oh, it's these three buttons right beside of M. I think it's this, this, and this. Howl at the Moon, Power Jump, and Revert Form. That sounds cool. 
Maybe you can do a variable stuff here. Lunar transformations, what is that? For oh, I don't like force. Very good that it's deactivated. Then we have more hut. Oh, that's nice. I love more hut. Player's data position. Uh, exposition is 88.5. Wait, which one? 88? Zero? I guess. And Y position is 90.75. Targets data. Untick show other effects. Widget style ingredients text only. Position exposition sixty sixty five. I only have to do, oh, there's a template save by the way, that you can use so everything, this is like done, but I couldn't do that because I had the Bijin, Bijin mods, you know, like the mods that overhaul like spouses, companions and shit, and Vinsong overhaul for characters. And so I had to pass some stuff into the rectifier ini. Don't ask me, sounds complicated, it's, it's not. But because of that, I have to basically start a new game instead of load the template save, right? 60, 65 and 84.5 Okay There's something more targets count Target count widget alignment center mm. Wait, position 50, 60. Requiem is post start. Simple droplet torches. Is that a mod? It is. K and L. What the fuck? Main torch hotkey? What does that mean? Hotkey for drawing a torch or putting an equipped torch away. Tap double tapping drops a torch. Ugh. K and L. Not sure if I remember that, but oof, oof. Simple taxes. Customization. Antic house and horse tax. No. House and horse? Antic toggle immersive taxing. Follower tax 500. Change the tax cost for followers. Follower count must be set by the slide. The slide. Wait, what? Followers? They for cost me money? What the fuck? <laughs> um, set followment to your number of followers as you recruit them. Oh, okay, I have to set this up when I get actually a companion, okay. Simply knock. Settings. 
Base success chance thirty percent. Welcome duration eight hours. Oops. Failure time out six hours. Okay, Sky UI. Item list. Quantity menu min count 10. Active effects had minimum time left 0 seconds. What? Act. Oh. Advanced. Yeah, I know. Uncheck, uncheck the the thing, right? The what is it called? SWF version checking. There's a map menu, right? Yeah, it's untick map menu because of Warburg's paper map. Okay, then we have sleep tight. Options, NPCs, Untick Sheep Shot. Sleeping and sitting NPCs take more damage when struck. Uh. Jesus. Sn snore volume? What the fuck is going on? Spell research. I'm probably not using SmartCast because I don't know how. But, uh, spellcast options. Options. Background. Import spells. Once selected, exit the menu and wait for the spells to import. It will prompt it several times. Hit yes each time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ninety two spells. Yes. How much Dawn Guard stuff is there? That's not much, Dragon Boy is. Yes. Of course, Requiem. Reordering. Oh boy! I'm really hungry. I think we are nearly done. Uh, I think after this I'm gonna do character creation. I'm not sure if I'll do that on screen. But I still have to do some MCM stuff afterwards. Okay, all spells done. Jesus Christ. Spells for no for some reason. Okay, spells for I do afterwards. Mod configuration. Uh, SV mods menu. What is that? Um, crafting requires permission. You need a fucking permit? Fucking serious? Antique alchemy, blacksmithing, cooking, enchanting, harvesting. Prices, mining, 750. That goes so in-depth, dude. Feels like, like X4, the space game or something. Prices, discount, mining, 300. Mm. 
more punishable crimes. Toggle functionality, untick, vagrancy, whatever that means. Spells cost stamina. Oh god, what? Untick spells cost stamina. Well, thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Um, spell learning requirements. Untick spell learning requirements. Really simple follower tweaks. Untick. Okay, take notes. Isn't that the mod I used in special edition for like actually making notes, not notes and stuff? Controls, journal. I had it on X, I think, last time, but now it should be on N. I can understand that because X is basically hide everything. So we make that on N. Very nice. Requirements to begin recruitment quest. Items stolen, 150. Looks like factions, like the little factions, they, the guilds, they have actually like quite hard to get in. City influence quest, where is that? Tick randomize. Requirements to begin third quest. Randomize. Fourth quest. Randomize. Shadow marks require city quest. Oh, we are nearly done. Uh, trade and barter. Barter. Tick enable mod. Wait, what? Trace variables. Solitude, solitude, solitude. Buying 20%. Markers selling 15. Windhelm buying 20. Riften buying 25. Selling 10. White one 20, 10. Merchants, merchants. Tick merchant gold fluctuates. That means ah, it's different. That's true. Um, now we have lanterns. I love my lantern mod, but now it's probably with oil and stuff. So oh boy. Fuel settings. Where oh. Tick oil lanterns use oil. Hotkeys. Toggle lantern and check fuel. Toggle lanterns. Um, I'm sorry, but what buttons are these? I have to scroll up. There is like a little um, layout where I can check that. Oh, it's left from enter. It's these buttons. Oh, Americans, you guys don't have the uh, uh, U button, right? It's like left from enter. Uh, right beside the P, we have a U button, right? And uh, right from L, we have a U button. And right from U, we have a R button. And these are probably the buttons for toggle lantern and check fuel. The U and A. I can understand that. Toggle lantern, check fuel. Hmm. 
Okay. Got that out of the way. Okay, and now I think it's the last mod, wet and cold. Rain blind disabled. NPCs add both rain gear to level list. Both rain gear to level this. Oh, okay. Cold. Untick strong winds. NPCs cold gear all races. Cold gear all races. Untake backpacks, untake backpacks. NPCs. Add goggles and face cover to level lists. But do not do this, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Whew. I think we are done with that. Now it says, important, once you have configured the buff, go into the ultimate scrum MCM at the very top of the list. Choose your starting option and create your character. Once you spawn in with your chosen settings. Requiem will initialize and ultimate scum will prompt you with what death system you want to use. Choose and then configure the MCMs we put off earlier. Ooh, that's nice. They put them for me at the bottom. NFPCF, Rustfall, Requiem, Spellsword. Ooh, that's nice of them to be honest. But what we should do now is save of course. You know, just in case. Uh, because of crashes. Uh, mod configuration, ultimate Skyrim. Oh god, what do I have to do here? <laughs> um, go into at the very top of the list, yes I am. Choose your starting options and then create your character. Oh. Character name Adventurer? Replaces the default of Prisoner when using mods like Race Menu, also useful for labeling save games. Is there not like Explorer or something? Standing Sound Ability the Thief. I mean... I guess? I mean, let it be active. I'm not sure. Race menu. Character creation normally happens after selecting begin your adventure. Be careful when using this. It can cause pressure with some mods. It will reset your stats. Oh no, we don't 
interested. Starting gear, magic spells. Is that true that you know? Primary school is this. Um, I wanted to go. Uh, Conjuration and destruction. Um, doesn't mean I'm gonna run around with ropes because maybe I want to try out heavy armor this time. But I heard I have to check the um, perk tree because I heard there's a, if it's like that, like in 2017, there was a perk that lets you use magic stuff and heavy armor without restrictions. Um, but I have to see that. Sounds not OP. Headgear. Hmm. Weapons. Is there nothing like sword bow or some shit? Other otherwise I go longbow axe. Wealth. I mean random is probably too OP. That's not OP. Is there more? Spell selection. Oh wait. Then let's go spell selection, I guess. Right. So I get conjure familiar or something, and I get like, let's say, let's go stand at like flames. You know, like one here, one there, and that's it. I mean, stealing could ste stealing, healing could be good. Not sure if it's OP though, you know. Um. Oh God. Where do I want to start? Camp in? What about Riverwood? Like really old school start for me. Sleeping Giant. Wait, is it Sleeping Giant? I think it is. Sleeping Giant. That sounds good. Special options. Delayed. Playstyle. Supernature effect? What is Supernature? 
Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saved before this. Uh, oh shit, it immediately kicks you in, that's interesting. But at this point, I should say thanks for watching. Um, interesting. Um, I will do the stuff here, you know. Um, I got really need to drink something, eat something and stuff. And I think the Frostfall stuff and Requiem stuff and Spellsword stuff. Oh, Spellsword means you can set a, a hotkey to mouse 4 that you can cast uh, spells while you have sword in your hand. Yeah. yeah, it's nothing interesting for you guys to watch, basically. Oh, I said basically again after two hours. But <laughs> anyway, this is basically episode zero. And the next episode, well, it's episode one, of course. But that's where I start. So basically, I hit the record button on episode one after I finished the character creation and the last MCM configuration. And yeah, if you see this video, it's probably already uploaded. So feel free to continue to episode one. If you have questions about Automaton or the ultimate Skyrim mod thingy, feel free to message me. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.